All right, guys, quick video on how to decrease the temperature of your computer while gaming or doing any other type of media intensive activity. So I have a crappy netbook right now uh, that overheats fairly easily uh, doing any kind of gaming. Um, pretty frustrated trying to get it to work initially, but I did some research and found a solution that works for me. Uh, so usually I do this for all kind of all kinds of gaming that I do or any kind of video editing. So we're gonna open up uh, our power options. I'll show you exactly how to do that. So right on my uh, little taskbar down here, I right click power options. I have it on high performance right now. Um, so I usually go with balanced. Usually uh, that is something I stick with most of the time. Click on change plan settings and then go to change advanced power settings. So then we're gonna go to have our window right here. So we have it under balanced. So everything should be default except for, we're gonna go to processor power management. This is the key right here. Then we're gonna go to maximum processor state. And this is essentially how much max power your processor CPU can use. So plugged in, I put it at 60% on battery, 60%. Essentially, it only matters for plugged in since it's always gonna be plugged in when I'm gaming or doing any other activity like that. Um, so I put it at 60, it was at 100 before. So the 100 was making it, I guess the CPU trying to work really, really, really hard and being at 100%, it was working and the, and the games were a little bit better FPS, very, very slightly more. Um, games like Dota, I play a lot of Dota, so if anyone plays that, this works for you. Um, anyways, um, it was working a little bit more, but it was overheating. So my temperature, as you can see down there, it's 115, 117, 120. That's basically recording a video right now, so it's a little higher than normal. It usually is around 105 to 110. That's pretty good for a netbook or laptop. Um, but when I was gaming, it would go up to maybe around like 150, 160, and sometimes I would see it at like 170, and that's like danger area, you know, that's, this is all in Fahrenheit. So I was like, oh crap, you know, my computer, the fan would be turning on, going crazy, and then therefore, once it gets up to those high temperatures, the computer starts to slow down, so you lose that FPS anyways. So, checked online, this is the solution that worked for me kick it down a notch. I went to 70, 75 initially, it was all right. I went down to 60, just because I want the temperature to be as low as possible. As far as Dota goes, it works perfect. I have an Elite Book, an HP Elite Book with an i7 processor. Cost me about like 150, 200 bucks. Super, super cheap. Runs Dota perfectly on lowish settings with this 60% max processor state. So that is what I did. See, as you can see here, if I go to high performance mode, it's gonna to turn to high performance mode on my computer right now. And then it's gonna go, we can go to processor power management again, max processor state, it's at 100, okay? So in the high performance mode, if you need a little boost of juice, you put it back to this, it's gonna be at 100 again. It's gonna be able to utilize 100% of its capabilities. Okay, but I'm gonna put it back to balanced. I like it at balanced. I like to prolong the life of my computer. Okay, so. That is pretty much it. Everything else did not work for me. That is the only thing that's ever worked for me is processor power management. Do it, see if it works, click OK, and you're good to go. Um, yep, hopefully that works out for you. Please ask me any questions. I can do my best to help you out. I have minimal knowledge in this, but I've done a lot of research in my life, and I've gamed a lot, a whole lot. So, yep, thanks for watching.